Honey, I'm on. <laughs> hey, you might have caught that at the beginning of my video. Hey, welcome again to another Facebook live show from Game Master Games. I'm your host, Game Master Dave. Let's level up. All right, so I got a few things happening. Um, the first thing is uh, we are not going to be online next week. I'm going to be camping in the Adirondack High Peak region. Ginger and I are going to be climbing the highest peak in New York State uh, called Mount Marcy. Uh oh, she's saying, no, she's not climbing the highest <laughs> peak. All right, well, she will be in the woods with me uh, with a whole bunch of other friends and my high school buddy, Ari. So I'm so excited uh, to uh, see meet him and his family and us for, to go on a week-long camping trip. going to be fantastic. All right, as a reminder, don't forget that you can... Um, uh, say a couple things in the video while you're watching. You can type them and we'll try to answer any questions live about anything we're talking about, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm on Instagram, finally, Game Master Dave. I posted a few pictures there from like some conventions I went to and stuff. So if you want to keep up what's going on, you can get a hold of us at the phone number, email, uh, uh, Facebook page. Uh, Instagram, you can send us some uh, messages or whatever you want to do. So uh, there's lots of different ways for you to get a hold of us. I will have some of that info at the end of the end of the event, uh, end of the show today. Hey, Char uh, hey Charles, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, and it's Meg's birthday, so happy birthday, Meg. Uh, so you know that. Hey, what's up? Uh, all right. So, uh, also, Josie, one of my employees and one of my uh, uh, good gaming buddies, is on a Overwatch team league. He is in the Horizon League, and he's on team um, Busan Bloom. So, uh, if you watch Overwatch, uh, check that out. He's JRG777, I think that's his name. Uh, also, our friends uh, JJ and Brian are on a podcast. They're doing a live uh, Dungeons and Dragons playthrough. Brian is using the dungeon. Brian is the game master. He's developed his own uh, uh, like module or adventure, and he is uh, the name of it is called Reliably Chaotic. I, I love that name. It's fantastic. I'm sure you can find it on your podcast players. Uh, you can check it out. And uh, he's using the Dungeons & Dragons 5.0 system. So that's really cool. Uh, as I mentioned last week, I got a chance to play Rune Wars. I love Runebound. Have, have you guys played Check That Runebound before? I, actually, I had a big debate while we were playing Rune Wars that I like the older version of Runebound with like the movement dice and stuff. They, people told me that the new version doesn't have it, but now I'm a little confused if you like Rune Bound, you are probably going to really like uh, Rune Wars. However, it is a, a bit more tactical, probably takes a lot longer to play, and uh, yeah, we were playing, I think, for about seven hours. Okay, anyway, um, uh, anyway, it's great. I really did enjoy it. Uh, Rune Wars, uh, I played with Chris and Rich, and on BoardGameGeek.com, it's rated 7.7, .7. and as I've told you before, anything like over 6.5 is usually incredibly awesome. 7.7 is a fantastic rating. Uh, it does take a commitment to play the game. So uh, if you're interested, check it out. If you know somebody that has it, but it'll take all day. <laughs> it's two to four players, three to four hours, they say, but we had to look up rules and figure it out. Uh, 14 years plus. Uh, it's designed by Corey, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this, uh, Konitsitz, I'm not too sure. Uh, and it's uh, by Fantasy Flight Games. It is out of print, so just so you know. Uh, anyway, also, I've got a guest in the house. Uh, he was an employee of mine. He's my great buddy. He's on my Too Many Dice design team. And uh, he has recently moved to... Oh, I'm going to face it towards you. Oh, yeah. You can sit right there. Um, uh, uh, he has recently moved to... Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and... Uh, he went last week to Cosmic Comics and Games, who we love to support because uh, Chuck ran our board gaming group at uh, Game Master Games for many years. And uh, Chuck opened his own store, Cosmic Comics and Games. And Marco was there last week demoing his role-playing game that he is designing. So welcome, Marco. Really appreciate you coming on Facebook Live with us tonight. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how that event went went over at Cosmic Comics. So Cosmic Comics, once again, is a great place to go to. Feel free to go there, check out, and pick up some comics. 
Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, the game went really well. I want to just thank Jared's group one more time for playtesting the game. You guys were awesome. Your comments were awesome. It was really positive and encouraging. Um, and we had a great time. Uh, they had some great recommendations. And as you guys can see, right over here, I'm looking to try and implement those, uh, impl you know, imp those, those game changes into it. So I'm really, really, really hoping that you know, it really improves the game. And I can't wait to demo it again in November. That's, so it's going to be awesome. That's great. Yeah. What Marco is talking about is that uh, he's trying to get his game ready so that I can bring it over. I mean, he's in Indiana. I can bring it to uh, Metatopia in November. We still got to work out the details, but if all goes well, I will be playing Marco's game. I'll be demoing Marco's game in Morristown, New Jersey, uh, and getting live feedback from people we've never met uh, and we're not familiar with, which will be really great in game development. Uh, Marco, can you tell me sort of like how your game has developed, you know, over the last couple years? Like it's, it's changed quite a bit, right? Yeah, 100%. Uh, game development is tough. Uh, it, sometimes it's some wins, sometimes it's some losses. Uh, and essentially I went from being uh, an easygoing uh, D&D uh, type of adventure for, for new players to changing it completely where we're just completely removing dice and just going completely into uh, poker cards instead. Yeah. Uh, something easy and accessible by everybody. Uh, so it's, it took about four different iterations to get to that point. So if you're designing a game, feel free to, to be motivated, keep those changes, keep playing, and always improve. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Thanks, Marco. I really appreciate it. And uh, some some of my other game design people that are in my group uh, are moving to uh, – also moving to Indiana, also <laughs> moved to California. I mean, it's like everybody moved away. But what's super cool is is that we are staying in contact on um, – on Skype and stuff like that, and so therefore we're still we're still everybody's working on their own games. It's it's great, and we're still giving feedback to each other. So uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Marco, for those comments. Um, uh, so anyway, some other things that are happening is the Beth Page Library event uh, is usually where Ginger and I play games at Beth Page Library. It happens usually on the first Friday of the month, but we were at DexCon in Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, so it is this coming Friday. You've got to be there. And in honor of the Apollo landings, we have chosen uh, great games. And we're Ginger and I are going to be there teaching these three particular games. Terraforming Mars, Race for the Galaxy, and the Doctor Who card game. If you've never played them, you got to come down. It's uh, 6.30 to 9 p.m. this Friday, July 19th. Beth Page Library, um, and uh, those games will sell out quick because everybody's playing. Ter there was like nine tables of terraforming Mars at DexCon. It was unbelievable, and uh, a a Race for the Galaxy is a huge classic. So um, if you never played, come down and play with us. That would uh, we'd love to have you. Uh, also, Ginger and I are involved in uh, board gaming at uh, Li Retro uh, Tabletop uh, Gaming Expo this uh, on August tenth and eleventh. <laughs> Uh, I, a lot of you guys might have gone, gone down there for the, for the video games in the last couple years. Fantastic event. This year they're adding pinball machines. They, I don't, they got dozens of pinball machines. It's crazy. But we also have over 45 games on the schedule. Role-playing games, miniature games, magic fill and fires, and a whole bunch of board games that Ginger and I are demoing. So come join us at that. Uh, like the Fit Tabletop Expo Facebook page. It's L-I Tabletop. Uh, like that uh, so that you can get all the updates on Facebook. If you're a Facebook user, which you probably are because you're watching this uh, show. Okay. <laughs> anyway, every Thursday also tune in. Uh, hey, Rich. Uh, uh, Rich and Morgan, are you at 9 o'clock on Thursdays or 9.30? So send me a message. Uh, but at either 9 or 9.30 on the Legendary Realms um YouTube channel, uh, catch up with Rich and Morgan, and they'll tell you everything that's going on uh, in on their show, like within the last week or coming up events. Then that's called the Weekly Word. So make sure you check that out on Legendary uh, Realms Games and Legendary Realms Terrain. All right, you can always contact us with, contact us with feedback, questions, and comments. We'd love to hear from you. Send us, you know, like if you'd like us to get into a little more detail. I got some really good comments from somebody saying I should really do a YouTube channel. So that's in the works. We'll, we'll be able to get to it when we get to it. 
uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, Kim, how you doing? Good to see you. And um, Ginger and I are working on some other projects. Uh, we just signed a deal with the Syosset Library. We'll be teaching games up there. Very excited about that. We also have Octacon coming up in October. More details coming with that one. Uh, and uh, uh, so what else we got? Uh, if there's also, tell us if there's any topics you'd like us to cover. So I'm going to show some posters that I normally do at the end of the event. So you got some ideas. You can pause the... Uh, Pause the video so you can get the contact information. This is the board game night at the library. So you can see here, July 19th. That's uh, what we're teaching right there. And this is at Beth Page Library, just in case you need the address or the phone number. You can check that out there. That is not in focus. Okay, that's somewhat better. There we go. Uh, also, this Thursday, tomorrow, it is insane what is happening at the Beth Page Library. I don't know if I can get that in focus. Uh, probably not. Okay, so 2 p.m. they're showing Apollo 11. 3.30, 5.30, and 7.30, uh, they're doing an escape room. That's nuts. Uh, 5 p.m., they've got a meet and greet. Um, I can't even read it. A meet and greet with the Grumman Retiree Association. 6 p.m., Grumman History pre uh, Presentation. And 7.30 p.m., Apollo Landing 1969 and other lunar events. That's another presentation. That's tomorrow, also at the Beth Page Library. I also just got my copy of um, Clear the Decks that I kickstarted. So that's going to probably be coming up on a future episode of this Facebook Live. I'm very excited about this. Uh, uh, it's a great game. I demoed it, I, I, or I didn't demo it. Um, Chris, the owner of the company, uh, demoed it to me at Metatopia, which we'll talk more about as well. So with that said, I hope you had a good time and a quick overview. Thank you so much, Marco, for coming to, uh, to join us. And uh, thanks for making it to an end of another Facebook, uh, Game Master Games Facebook live sh show. And until we meet each other across the, the table, oops, I totally forgot my own thing. Give yourself 100 experience points. And until we meet across the gaming table once again, keep your dice dry and your rule books ready. And your meeples? What's that, Ginger? Strong. Strong. That's right. Good night. Good night. Thanks so much.